All right, guys, it is time for our second match of the day in those playoffs. Baby Knight is going to face Lusty Front, Denmark versus Spain, Protoss versus Terran, uh, and our first map is going to be Kaidaria. Uh, I'm not too familiar with the map, but uh, wait. No, 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 never mind. It's not the map that we played earlier. Uh, Baby Knight, he's been performing really well recently, as I said. He's been beating a lot of good players. He had a decent run in MLG. Same for Lone Star Clash. WCS Europe, he played very impressively just before that. And uh, in WCS World, he beat Rain uh, as well as some, o some other good players. So he's definitely one of the players uh, you should watch out for. And he's going to be facing Lassie from one of the players that everyone agrees has a lot of talent in the scene. So we're going to have to see what Lassifron has in store for him. Lassifron has been playing really, really well as well these days. So it should be a nice match here. This is going to be a best of five. And uh, I believe this is the round of eight or maybe 16. No, this is actually the round of 16 of this Rhythmix RSL3. Uh, I will show you the bracket here in a second if I can find it. Let me see. RSL. Okay, I will show you the bracket briefly so you guys can see. And uh, Lodi was able to be Thorzin with 2 to 0 Thorzin for in the last game and he's gonna face I mean Lodi is gonna face either Freya or Happy in the next round. This is gonna be one maybe our next match. Baby Knight against Lassie Front. Uh, the winner of this match will face either Vortex or Braddock, which is also gonna be played today. So look forward to that guys. Le give me a second to edit the scoreboard here and our starts on telling you guys about what's happening in the game. Let's see, what was it? All spawns, yes. Uh, I think this is all spawns. Lassifron going to use the supply depot at his ramp here so far. Baby Knight. He likes those spinons uh, next to the next to the Nexus. I actually don't do those enough myself. I always like, for example, if I was here, I would have made my pylon here so that I could build like my production facilities in the back and my gates here. But uh, those pylons next to Nexus are always pretty okay as well. Lusty Front going to be starting in the 5 o'clock position here against his opponent, Baby Knight, playing for Team FX Open Europe, the Red Protoss, starting at 8 o'clock. He's going to be scouting right after his gate here, and uh, luckily for him, he's headed for the right way. Lusty Front, it looks like he wants to go for a command center first. This is the trend these days, Terrence. Go for command center first almost every game, and I think if Baby Knight sees this, he's going to go for the dual nexus. I wouldn't be surprised if that happens, not mine, not mine gas for some time and uh, well, it's pretty fortunate I think here for Baby Knight because he scouts this first and Lusty from, he does not know where Baby Knight is going to be now so he's going to have no info but I mean usually if uh, you're here, I guess the map is a bit unknown but he would expect Baby Knight to be on the left here because it's very less likely that if Baby Knight was here, he would have scouted this way first I think if he was here, he would have scouted all the way up there first so Baby Knight here is not going to bring Lucifer to his base, he's just going to go around, let his shield re regenerate and then go back into the fight, lose his shield. Uh, he should be pulling back right now, he's taking too much damage on this probe, one shot away from dying here. And uh, going to be moving on, the guys are here, trying to escape the grip of this SCV. Another SCV was sent out, he knows that the probe is going to be coming back. Uh, keep on bothering him. Baby Knight is not actually pulling too many workers off the gas here. He's gonna start warp gate. He has enough money for a stalker. I wouldn't be surprised if he chrono boost a stalker to put some pressure with all the nice scouting and uh, Baby Knight has to be careful not to show where he is. And actually yeah, lost it from he expects Baby Knight to maybe be here or there. So he's gonna scout this natural. He's not gonna go into the main. If he sees no natural here, he's just going to assume his opponent's not here and go to the other position. This probe now was able to scout this first marine. Uh, oh, he has to be careful. One, one shot away here from maybe dying. Two barracks were made here for Lusty Front, playing it safe. And one bunker, as well as one more barracks, are going to be made. Oh, Baby Knight is actually mining a lot of gas. He's on two gases. He's going to have his first stalker ready to deny scouting here. Riding his second stalker on his first one. And this one stalker... I'm not sure if he's gonna send it out or leave it here too. Oh, okay, he knows 
where the SCV has gone. So he's actually gonna go hunt for this SCV here, and this is so smart, he's gonna kill it really nicely. But I'm not sure why exactly he's mining so much gas. Uh, he might just want to add on some sentries as well as a robo as soon as possible. And actually this uh, this stalker, I think he got a bit uh, freaked out here of maybe having missed this SCV and having it scout him now. So he's going to pull back. Uh, he does not have any scout here as well to be able to maybe spot his opponent uh, going for him. So he's just going to stick around with his stalkers. Like a one, this one has to deny scouting. Up his ramp, he does not want one SCV to get in there. See those three gates, get any free information, and uh, oh yeah, he's gonna be able to get it. This stalker was able to confirm the complete wall of up the ramp here and the one's bunker. Formula C front, he did not see too many marines, so there is a chance that uh, there could be some factory play behind this right now in Baby Knight's mind. So he's gonna play it safe. He's gonna throw down his robotics facility. Uh, this is a very good position for scouting the Terran early on, but the problem is going to be taking a third here if you take it here. Uh, the Terran can attack. He could just kill those rocks, attack through here, and uh, he would rally so fast into the fight. And uh, yeah, Baby Knight just taking position here up this big ramp, waiting for any of Lustifron's army or units to come by to be able to scout them, then react. And uh, his Lustifron is going to go for the two tech lab barracks as well as one reactor he does not want to play too marine heavy i think he knows that baby knight really like the scholosis and uh, actually baby knight choosing to opt for the forge plus twilight council so far in this game he's been making probes he's been chrono boosting probes very consistently that's what i really like uh, about what baby knight is doing right now he's up to 43 to the 35 of his opponent and uh, we should be seeing a couple more gates being added on a bit later here, I think he's just gonna start blink and maybe plus one or charge and armor. Okay, it's armor, so it should be charged. Yes, it is charged. And it's a bit uncharacteristic of Baby Knight, I guess. He mixes it up a lot, but uh, a lot of the time he will get blink. I know that he's one of those players, one of those protosses who really likes to play with stalkers and blink. He's gonna add on three more gates here, and uh, I think he's just gonna wanna take a third and take into Templars here. This first observer is going to be able to spot everything here. Always very important to know at which time those medivacs are going to start being made just before the ninth minute. This is very standard here. Nothing too out of the ordinary from Lucifer, who's right now making a combat shield as well as impact. This is the upside of going for the dual tech lab forest by units. Uh, you might want to put on a big pressure here because basically he's going to have, uh, let's see, combat shield and plus one finishing at the same time he's gonna have a lot of bio force and uh, I think with two or three or even four medivacs I think he's gonna try to drop and maybe do a lot of damage as much damage as he can but uh, baby nice baby knight really nicely here uh, making one more observer he has even one more on the way he has his Templar archive up he's gonna go for storm straight away he's gonna have to make a lot of stalkers here to be able to defend he chooses to warp zealots first but I think he needs a couple more stalkers that's for sure Oh, he needs to move his observer here. He's gonna need, I think, two force fields here to buy him some, himself some time. But he chooses to move out here. It looks like he wants to engage. I'm not sure. I'd oh, yes, charge. That's why he was feeling very confident. But uh, the zealots are gonna snipe some units. He does not overextend. I really like this. He's pulling back right now. He might turn around and force field a couple of those units. But he chooses to be in full retreat right now. He's gonna go back. This observer sees everything right now. A uh, baby knight might warp in a couple of Templars to feed back those medivacs and some zealots, but right now he's not warping anything. He's on cooldown on his gates. He has to wait a little bit more. Those zealots are gonna stream in here. And uh, oh, we have a couple units here doing a run by at the expansion. Baby knight defending this really well right now. He hasn't lost a single walker so far. Oh, and actually he underestimated this one attack in the main and overestimated the one in the expansion. So right now his army has split very poorly. This core might get snapped and then there will be a pick up from Lassifron. Baby Knight realizes that he's gonna try to target those medivacs. Oh, Lassifron picks! Oh no, never mind. He picked up the units in the other medivac. So Lassifron not doing too bad here, but not too great either. Great defense by Baby Knight here. He's gonna have to remake his cybernetic score. He makes it in the exact same position, this medivac gonna be in this position here ready to drop again more barracks being added on for lusty front right now who's already made a third command center before adding on more barracks a second engineering bay as well as an armory are making right now and uh, we're gonna have the ghost academy as well so lusty front is just gonna play this standard and he's actually he's actually going up to only five racks now i think he will add on 
even more later. A second forge is being made for Baby Knight here, plus one attack upgrade is near completion. And uh, third base has started as well, a couple of pylons. He's being dropped in the main here, he's gonna have to defend as soon as possible. He's warping in a couple of stalkers, three nice micro here from Rusty from sniping two of the stalkers, one of the zealots. They're gonna be able to get this one zealot, even a couple more props here. He's giving a lot of props, up to five kill right now on those probes and uh, well those they're gonna kind of block each other here and attack this cannon for some time but this game have not enough time to last if to go into the expansion of baby knight baby knight with the really nice storm here he could potentially force field his chooses not to force field okay finally force field is going to be able to catch only three of those units last if trying to get the kill on this nexus here i don't think he will be able to we should just pick up here and leave but he has to fill those medivacs that have that still have hps two more medivacs get sniped the supplies are very similar they are trading very Equally here, Baby Ness has to resume mining at his expansion and uh, unit skills still very equal. Units lost uh, almost the exact same and uh, lost his right now. He has secured a third. Actually, he's working towards securing a third. He doesn't have that many units. And Baby Knight right now, he wants to attack. He has a couple of storms here. He's going to have at least three storms. This might be really hard for Lost Front to hold. And uh, Baby Knight, oh, he's storming here. Trying to prevent those units from getting in, Lusty from dodging it uh, quite decently. He has to leave two zealots here in there, maybe, and fight with the rest of his army. He chose to go for the five zealots into those marines, uh, into those SCVs. This bio force here from Lusty from the just sniped one of the Templars. He doesn't have. Okay, actually, he has one storm left. He has remade a couple Templars far away from the fight as they arrive. They almost have a storm here, and uh, Baby Knight just doing so good right now, putting on the right pressure. He realizes that his opponent is going to have a couple ghosts here and one EMP could basically win the game for the Sifron, so he's going to pull back. I wouldn't be surprised if he takes into Colossus later on. And Baby Knight is actually playing so well uh, in this game so far. Being up 78 army supply to the 63 of his opponent is six walkers ahead right now. Uh, he's making a couple, a couple Archons, but uh, I have to say the more he waits now, the better it gets for the Sifron because he's going to be massing on those ghosts. He has four so far, three more on the way. Lustifron has two attack upgrade on the way. Uh, he's just started the level two infantry armor, but whereas Baby Knight, he has, he has two two almost completed. And I think he might hit a big timing with two two here, feeling very confident that the Zeros are going to tank a lot of damage. He actually only has two stalkers. Oh, those ghosts here trying to EMP, but they're not going to be able to, and uh, they're gonna have to pull back here. And really nice engage here, bringing the Templars really far, uh, really way after he sent his Get force in oh nice EMP here. I think Lusty is going to be able to defend this and uh Baby Knight. It could have gone a lot better for him. I think Lusty defense was beautiful here. A lot of Terrence would have died, but Lusty was very patient with his ghost. Every time a Templar came in, he was ready to snipe or EMP and once all the Templars came in, he EMP'd all of them. He's macroing really nicely here, pulling back. You can see that Warcraft micro being used to its full effect. Baby Knight is going to lose this proxy pylon. He has 3-3 three, three on the way. He's getting blink as well. Lustifron is going to scan for any kind of Colossus tech. He sees that Baby Knight is upgrading from two forges. He's getting a lot of Templars right now, as you know, since they trade cost effectively. Uh, both of them. Uh, it was pretty equal trade. I think Lustifron should know that there is no, no Colossus on the way right now. And I think that's why he's not making any Vikings. And that was a very nice scan. Like I've said before, uh, we've seen those turn almost never scanning these days. Uh, really not putting much effort into scouting at all but this was actually one of the best scans you could ever imagine out of Lucifron who's now going to get a couple turrets he does not want to have his main dropped ever here he wants to be fighting here or here most of the time I guess in between his base and the one third of Baby Knight oh that's actually a sensor tower I was wondering why is he making two turrets here and this sensor tower is going to be so good he's going to be to be able to, to spot those units coming at him from so far uh, as a Terran you know you really like vision when you push forward, that's why they scan so much EMP is being used here on the army of Baby Knight. This one Archon gonna find immediately, the second one as well. This one is morphing, he has only one Archon right now. Really nice snipes on those Templars here. I think Lucifer is going to take this Baby Knight after having a really nice start. Being completely countered here. Uh, he did a big attack and basically Lucifer defended it so well that he was so far ahead. Now he's hitting a big timing with 2-2 two -two before his opponent has 3-3. I think what was revealed to Lucifer in this can was that Baby Knight was upgrading 3-3 as well and uh, Lucifer realized that he's gonna press forward and win the game right here and then Baby Knight Sage GG well played, very mannered and uh, well, Lucifer just playing so well here, I'm actually very impressed by him
This was our first game of this series, best of five between Baby Knight and Lusty Front, guys. We're gonna have a short break and then we'll be right back, or I'll be, I don't know why I say we, I'll be right back with the next game of this series for you.